Hello, I'm Mr. SD or Sustainable Development, the guru of industrial waste management. I'll be giving you some bits of knowledge about industrial waste management, which will be divided in, into three parts. Let's start with the first part. How to properly dispose of industrial waste. Part one, what is industrial waste? In the first part, we will get to know what industrial waste is all about. First of all, do you know how many factories there are in Thailand? The answer is, there are more than 70,000 licensed factories, and every year they dramatically increase in number. These factories produce up to 37 million tons of industrial waste each year, consisting of 34 million tons of non-hazardous waste and 3 million tons of hazardous waste. Think about how numerous 37 million tons of waste can be. It is equivalent to the weight of 1,480,000 fully loaded 10-wheel trucks. Then what is industrial waste? What can be categorized as industrial waste? Industrial waste is unused or discarded materials that are the leftover of industrial processes, which can be divided into two categories, hazardous and non-hazardous wastes. Some examples of hazardous wastes are used chemicals and expired paints. And non-hazardous waste, including those of fruit skins, cardboard boxes, metal scraps, and cloth scraps. It is very important not to put these kinds of waste together because they can turn into hazardous waste when combined. There is also a kind of waste that can only be identified whether it is hazardous or non-hazardous by determining the quantity of contaminants such as wastewater sludge or dust from a blue gas treatment system. The waste, including used document paper, pencils, paper bags, or leftover food from non-hazardous sources, such as offices, accommodations, and cafeterias, are also counted as industrial waste. Yet they are exempted from having to be given permission before disposal. That means they can be disposed of like any other general wastes. Now we know what industrial waste is and what can be categorized as industrial waste. But how can we dispose of it properly? If you want to know more, stay tuned for part two.